The countdown is almost over. DJI's NEO 2, the pocket-sized drone that's been quietly making waves in Asia, is finally going global. After limited launches in China and the Philippines, DJI has confirmed a worldwide release date, November 13th. From Europe to Canada, Brazil to the UK, it's officially taking flight everywhere. Though, interestingly, the US launch is still under wraps, with DJI teasing a separate event later in the month. So, before this compact flyer lands on your doorstep, let's break down exactly what's new, what's improved, and whether this is the drone to buy in 2025. From the moment you see it, the Neo 2 feels familiar, but smarter. DJI has reworked the design into a tighter, stronger frame that weighs just 151 grams, basically the weight of your smartphone. The new triangular guard structure replaces the older four-point design, making it sturdier during bumps. Small front bumpers now help absorb minor impacts, a thoughtful upgrade for those just learning to fly. And for the first time, DJI added a front status screen beside the camera. Paired with new side control buttons, you can check battery, switch modes, or even prep for flight. No phone required. Reviewers who've tested it say it's surprisingly rugged for its size. The kind of drone you just toss in a backpack and forget until you're ready to capture something cinematic. Here's where the Neo 2 really steps up. It now packs a 12 megapixel half an inch CMOS sensor with an f/2.2 aperture, giving it noticeably sharper details and better color accuracy, especially outdoors. Video quality hits a sweet spot. 4K at 60 frames per second and even a 4K 100 frames per second slow motion mode for silky cinematic footage. The gimbal now features dual axis mechanical stabilization meaning both roll and pitch are actively balanced, something you rarely see in drones this small. Low-light tests show improved color tones and reduced shake, though DJI still limits still photos to JPEG. No raw yet. But for casual creators, the difference in video clarity is night and day compared to the original Neo. Battery life clocks in at up to 19 minutes, which matches real-world reports. It's not the longest in the game, but enough for short creative flights or travel footage. The Fly More kit adds a triple fast charger, which helps keep the fun going. Speed-wise, the Neo 2 now climbs faster, up to 5 meters per second, and resists winds up to 24 miles per hour. Its top speed sits around 57 kilometers per hour, impressive for something this light. The new 360 degrees obstacle awareness system deserves credit too, Using a combination of sensors and a forward-facing LiDAR module, it detects objects in every direction. Testers say it stops about 10 centimeters before impact, precise enough to avoid trees, poles, or even curious pets. For beginners, this is confidence in flight form. It's safe, it's stable, and it's genuinely hard to crash. You can fly the Neo 2 directly through the DJI Fly app or connect to remotes like the RC, N2, RC2, or the Motion 3 joystick. There's even compatibility with FPV goggles, turning it into a mini cinematic explorer. DJI's Fly app brings the usual suspects, active track, quick shots, tap to fly. But the Neo 2 also introduces voice control and gesture flying. Raise your hand to take off, wave to land, or even make a fist to trigger recording. It's playful yet polished. And internally, it now carries 49 gigabytes of storage, double the original. No SD card slot, but enough room for hours of 4K footage. With 80 megabytes per second Wi-Fi transfer speeds, offloading clips is quick and painless. New propellers make the Neo 2 noticeably quieter, with a softer tone that blends into ambient noise. It's still audible, of course, but far less intrusive than most sub 250G drones. The entire experience feels more refined, less like a toy, more like a professional tool shrunk down to pocket size. In China, the base kit started around 1,499 yen, roughly $210, with the Fly More combo hitting about $350 to $400 depending on region taxes. For that price, you're getting a fully featured mini drone, 4K 60 recording, gesture control, 
dual axis gimbal, full obstacle awareness, and DJI level flight reliability. Sure, the 19 minute flight time and lack of raw stills may limit pros, but for travelers, vloggers, or first time flyers, the DJI Neo 2 is shaping up to be the most capable mini drone in its class. With a global launch set for November 13th, DJI is once again proving that small doesn't mean simple. The Neo 2 takes the fun of mini drones and fuses it with serious intelligence and cinematic potential, the kind of balance DJI's competitors still haven't nailed. And if you find this breakdown helpful, hit like, subscribe, and hit the bell.